All right, so, so far we have um, our application is able to add tasks and it goes into our local storage, but we have no way of seeing that aside from using the Chrome tools, which obviously isn't um, optimal. So we need to create a function called display tasks that will list them out, spit them out in this table um, and run every time this page is loaded. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our main.js file. And the display tasks function isn't going to have an event handler because I just want it to run um, right away. So right here, I'm just going to say display tasks, okay? And that's just going to run it. Now, if I leave it as is, we're going to get an error saying that there is no function called display tasks. So we need to create that. All right, so we're gonna say function display tasks. All right, first of all, we need to get our tasks. So we're gonna create a variable called task list and set that to json.parse. Okay, and we're gonna, uh, in here we're gonna say local storage dot get item oops get item tasks okay so that's going to get it and it's going to parse it as json all right now let's say if task list is equal to i'm sorry if it's not equal to null then we want to sort it all right because we want the date we want the top uh, to be the most recent all right so task list um, equals task list dot sort and then we need to create a, a helper function which is going to be called uh, sort by time Okay, and that's a little little complicated to do the sorting here, um, but let's just create that function before I forget. So function to sort tasks. Okay, so we'll say function sort by time. This is gonna take two fields, we'll do A and B. All right, and then create a variable called a time, and we're going to set that to a dot, and then the field that we want to sort by, which is going to be task time, and then we also want to set b time, and set that to b dot task time. Okay, and then we want to return. We want to return. And this is a little bit strange here, this syntax, but I'm going to say a time is less than b time. Oops. b time, um, and I'm going to say negative 1. And I'm sorry, I can't really explain everything that's going on here because I fully don't explain it. Uh, just know that this is going to sort it by time. Uh, so a time is greater than b time. All right, and then one parenthesis over. We're going to do a question mark, and then a one, and then a colon and a zero. Okay, so that should sort it for us. Okay, I know it might be a little confusing. Um, oh, this should be var. Okay, we might have to come back to this if there's any errors. All right, so back to display tasks. Okay, so this here basically is gonna sort tasks. Okay, next, um, what we need to do is we need to create a for loop. 
or I'm sorry, an each loop, a jQuery each loop to see if we have any tasks. And if we do, we're gonna loop through, display that task. It'll check again if, it's, if there's another task, it'll display that one and so on up until there's none left. All right, so first thing we wanna do is set, what's going on? We wanna set a timer, I'm sorry, a counter for our loop. All right, so we'll say variable i is equal to zero. All right, next we want to check tasks. Okay, so we're gonna say if local storage dot get item tasks. Uh, and we're going to say if it's not equal to null, then we're going to move on. All right. So we want to loop through and display. Okay. So we're going to use a dot each loop. Okay. So in here we want task list which is up here. Okay, so for each task list, then we want to run a function. All right, uh, and this function here should take a key and a value. All right, and then we're gonna get, ultimately what we wanna do is, just, is um, insert our tasks into that table so we need to uh, define that table. I don't think we have an ID on it. Let me just check. No, we have classes, but we want to set this ID. I'm going to set it to task table. All right, and then we'll go back and put that in right here. So task table. All right, and then what we want to do is we just want to append. Okay, we're going to append table rows. All right, so let's say TR for our table row. Um, and I'm going to give it an ID. Okay, the ID is going to be the actual task ID. So we need to do some concatenation here. So I can actually input JavaScript right here. So this will be value dot ID. Okay, and this value is coming from right here. Okay, we can actually get all of our values through there. Okay, so that'll be the ID. Um, and then we want to add on to this. So we're going to use a plus. All right, and then down here. We're going to have a column, so TD, and then we're going to concatenate the task, so value.task will give us that. Uh, and I'm sorry if it's a little confusing. Um, sometimes I have a hard time with all this concatenation where you need to put these, these uh, quotes and plus signs. So just bear with me. Now we just want to close that column. Okay, so we have the task. Next is going to be priority, I think. All right, so we'll say value uh, dot task priority. All right. Okay, and then the next line is going to be the date. I'm just going to actually copy this right here. Actually, this should have a plus sign. Okay, so we get the date and the time. Whoops. Okay, value.date, actually, no, no, this should be 
task date and task time just so we don't get mixed up with any of the core methods then what we need is our links to edit and delete okay so we're gonna say plus actually not yet because we're actually gonna use some HTML here we're gonna say href um, href is gonna go to edit.html which will be the form but we need to tack on the ID of the task or else it's not going to know which one so I'm going to use a uh, query parameter here with the question mark and I'm going to say ID equals alright and then we want to concatenate on the actual ID which we can get from value.id all right, and then when we go to the edit page, we should be able to grab this ID and do what we want with it. Okay, so let's now close this. I believe it should be right here. All right, and actually I shouldn't do that yet. The text for this will be edit. All right, and then next we need our remove. So we'll say a href equals uh, nothing. This is all going to be done through Java, through jQuery and JavaScript. All right, uh, let's see ID. I'm going to give this link an ID of remove class. I'm sorry, remove task, uh, and then. I think that's it. Okay, so we want to end that, and then this will just say remove a. All right, and then needs to end the column with td, and we'll put a plus sign. All right, and then we just want to end the row altogether. So TR, I'm going to bring this up a little. All right, so that should do it. Basically, it's taking, it's just going to insert a, a, a new table row with all the columns with dynamic data. Okay, so we can actually try it. Let's go ahead and reload. Okay, we're not getting anything. Unexpected token, uh, line 38. 38 is here. All right, so we have an issue with the, the time function. Oh, all right, so this here should actually be a question mark. Let's, let's give that a shot. All right, cool. So there is our task. Okay, all the information is correct. Let's try and add another one. Say meeting with boss. And we'll make that, let's make it high. And the date will be tomorrow and the time, let's say 9 p.m. Okay. And you can see that the order we have pick up kids is first because of the time. If I go and change meeting with boss, oh, I'm sorry, we can, we haven't we can't change it yet. We haven't implemented that functionality. Uh, so we do have our add functionality. Now we have our display. Um, the next thing to do would be to uh, create the edit functionality so that we can actually change our tasks and then also remove and clear all. So we'll get to that in the next video.